Hi everybody, it's Tom from Vehicle Visionary. I hope you're having a great day. Today I'm at Holmes Honda to show you the 2024 Honda Civic Hatchback Touring and give you the information to answer the question, is this the best compact car you can buy? It definitely has a lot going for it and starts with the exterior. Not only does this boost blue color, give it a very sporty look. And I know everybody has their preferences when it comes to how the vehicle looks as far as your favorite color, but I have to say, Boost Blue works well here. The sporty look, very sleek styling, and a very aggressive low stance. And the thing is, when you get this Civic out on the road, is that the driving experience really matches the overall look. The retuned chassis and suspension as of the 2022 model here is very noticeable. So let's dig in and find out a little bit more about what we have. There's a link down in the description of the video in case you are interested in buying this exact model here at Holmes Honda in Shreveport, Louisiana. LED lighting everywhere you see lighting, LED headlights, LED daytime running lights, and that flickering effect you're seeing with the lighting right there, that has to do with my camera. No, you can't really make that happen. That would be kind of cool if you could, but the only way you can do that is to watch my video. That's how it works. It's not really happening in real time. And you're going to have Honda sensing here. Great features as far as driving aids go. Road departure mitigation braking, lane keeping assist, traffic jam assist, adaptive cruise control. It's all here. And the body colored mirror caps with the boost blue color right there on the top and then turn signal indicators built in. They are manually folding, but they are power adjustable. They're also heated, and you have right here blind spot monitoring, and obviously the remote. I know you want to see that. Lock, unlock, remote start. I know you like that. I can't blame you for it. It needs to be on your vehicle or available for your vehicle. That's right. It is a proximity key. It does have the walk away feature, you also have your body colored door handles. And even though these models only come in front wheel drive, to me, that's not really that big of a deal. I know some people have their desires for all wheel drive, but it's just not here, but that's okay. 235 on the width with the tires, a reasonable amount of tread on the ground. That's part of what helps with great handling. A 40 series sidewall, and in this case, wrapped around 17, or excuse me, 18 inch wheels. Let's get that right in one take. You'll also find a sunroof here. It's conventional size compared to panoramic body colored shark fin antenna. And we can just kind of take the camera and follow the lines. It's kind of like a roller coaster for the camera, right? <laughs> Doesn't give you quite that thrill in the video, but a very sleek look good lines, LED taillights, finishing things off here. You're going to have your sport touring logos right there, as well as the Civic logo. And here on the rear, the exhaust finishers and the rear diffuser. Not too big, not too small, fits this model perfectly. What exactly are those exhaust finishers exhausting? Let's talk about what's under the hood. And because you have a very good horsepower to weight ratio, the 1.5 liter turbocharged four cylinder under the hood putting out 180 horsepower. It may not sound like a lot in this day and age, but it definitely does a great job of getting the car down the road. 177 pounds feet of torque. It's mated to a CVT, but I believe it's pretty well behaved, not quite as obnoxious as some that are out there on the market. And let's take a look at the window sticker to see what the MPGs are. 30 city, 37 highway, 33 combined, and three gallons of gas for every 100 miles driven. And if you're curious to know, this model has a 12.4 gallon gas tank. And besides the advantage of a very sleek and sporty look with this hatchback Civic is the fact that you also have increased cargo capacity. Exactly how much is there? 24.5 cubic feet, quite a bit. I have lowered the rear seats to show you what's here as far as how that looks. In fact, one thing that I know some people like to know about is how flat those seats lay when you lay them down. So hopefully this will give you an angle that lets you see how much of an angle there is. There is a little bit of a rise right here, but not too much. You still have the ability to take advantage of a lot of space. And another big advantage here, 
something that I know a lot of you like to find. Number one, you can get this floor out of the way very easily. You can actually move it a little bit further up than that to make gaining access to the spare tire. Very easy, very simple. There are all the tools to change that tire. No tire repair kit here. I think that will be a bonus for a lot of people. Let's talk about what your rear seat passengers are going to find. We're going to find a comfortable armrest back here in the rear, a reasonable size bottle holder slash door bin. I guess it could be used as either one here in the back seat area. Black interior, as you can see, very comfortable, that's for sure. And we'll hop inside and cup holders here built into the fold down armrest and no air conditioning vents. I know people say, man, I'd really like to have rear air conditioning vents. You do have the USB ports. If you have to have one or the other, which do you prefer? I'm curious to know about that. And as I showed you earlier, you have the conventional size sunroof. Here's a look from the inside. It does tilt and slide open. It is a power sunroof too. And for those who, number one, like to see the window sticker and know what the price is, there's the window sticker. Maybe you can zoom in, you can take a screenshot, whatever you want to do, you can pause the video and see all of that. I'm giving you a lot of information that is there. Now, here is a couple of different things to consider here. This is the price as far as what the base price is, $33,000. Now, you will notice that Holmes Honda has added a few features. Here is what those features are. And then we'll go down here and take a look. There is the additional price. So, in case you're curious, there you go. You know what it is. So, I don't know how much of a difference that makes overall, that little over $2,000 difference in price. But for most people, that's not going to make such a difference that it's really going to make you say, oh man, I can't buy this car. But I know everybody likes to know about that, so I try to show it in the videos. And here is the passenger side front door. If you're looking for the biggest door bins and armrests, they're found here on the front doors. Definitely more space here. And with this being the Sport Touring trim level power seats for the driver and the passenger, and on today, we're finally in the 30s for our lows. I know for some of you saying, that's warm, that's our highs. Well, here in Northwest Louisiana, that's a little on the chilly side for us, but I'm grateful it's not 115 degrees like it was during a lot of the summer. So I can take advantage of the fact that these are heated seats. They're not ventilated. That doesn't matter today. That's a good thing. So the glove box, Plenty of space within. Here is one of the things that you're paying for with those added features. The wheel lock key is in here. If you ever need to use that spare tire, you will use the wheel lock key to get the wheel locks off of the wheels, the lug nuts. There's one on each wheel. And then we're going to have connectivity here. You have the two USB ports in the back, couple more here in the front, a 12 volt power outlet and wireless charging there's your conventional style shifter. Nothing new for the Honda Civic. I know a lot of you prefer that over the push button. I can't say that I necessarily blame you for that. Here are your cup holders. And then you have multiple driving modes. You can see what all is here. You can turn off the auto stop start feature. Some of you like to leave that on and that's okay. Whichever you want to do, you have your options. And then you have brake hold mode and your power parking brake. And then within the center console, Quite a bit of space and a lot of options for storage or another option, I should say. Maybe not a lot, but you do have the tray right here that's removable. You can put it in a couple of different spots. And last but not least, from this perspective at least, we can take a look at the sunglass holder, something that is obviously useful. And then I told you how you have the tilt and slide open feature with the sunroof. There is how you're going to control that. And with the driver's side door, you're going to have those features you normally would find. You can control all four windows. You can adjust your heated power adjustable side view mirrors right there. And then traction control is right here. A few other features as well, depending on what you need to do. You can drop the lever right here to adjust the tilt and telescopically adjustable steering wheel. And we'll listen and watch. just so you can see something that's here, not something that's unique to the sport touring trim level of the Civic hatchback, but it is here, so I wanted to show you. 
but you do have a very nice, modern-looking, really sporty-looking digital instrument cluster or driver's display, whichever you wish to call that. It works really well as far as the way everything goes. And what I'm doing right here is I'm just using the scroll wheel to go through different information for the vehicle, depending on what you need to know about or control. Well, here it all is. So that helps. You do have the digital speedometer. All of that is here. And depending on who you are, I've had people ask about this, so I like to mention it. Somebody say, can you get rid of that digital speedometer? No, you can't. And that's just one of those things. I don't know, maybe we'll see that in the future. Who knows? But you can see your steering wheel mounted controls here. All of that good stuff, paddle shifters. And something that's a big advantage here, the nine inch touchscreen, very nice, very modern looking. It has built in navigation, but if you don't want to use that built in navigation, you can wirelessly pair it your smartphone and use Apple CarPlay or Android Auto. And then you can use your favorite app uh, for navigation there if you want to as well. Vehicle settings, very easy to figure out as far as this model goes. Keyless access setup is right there door unlock mode you can use that depending on what you want to do and here's this is something else somebody asked me about how many times do you have to press the button to unlock all four doors well you can do the driver's door only or you can switch to right here and you can go to all four on one press so just something real quick i just thought about that because somebody asked about it pretty easy to figure out what you're working with here and when you go into reverse you will have a multi-view rear view camera have the trajectory lines there and three different views depending on what you want to see pretty easy to deal with and then let's do this we're going to go through our driving mode so we start with normal i'll let you see the graphics that come up with each mode we have econ and then we're going to go back up here to sport the sport touring mode or touring civic i should say should have a sport mode and it most certainly does dual zone climate control and yes I actually have the heated seat on for the driver's side. I'm so glad that's here today because it's just, well, like I said, for Northwest Louisiana, it's a little on the chilly side. Okay, tell me what you think. Is the 2024 Honda Civic Hatchback Sport Touring the best compact car you can buy? It definitely has a lot going for it, but I'm curious to know what your thoughts are. And tell me down in the comments, I know we just saw a redesign, so we're probably a good two or three years away from seeing the 12th generation of the Honda Civic. But when that comes, are there any features you would like to see Honda add that are not currently here? Tell me down in the comments about that. I do want to say a special thanks to my friends here at Holmes Honda for loaning me this Civic hatchback sport touring for the day. And a special thanks to each and every one of you for being kind enough to give me the opportunity to give you a vision for your next vehicle. If you enjoyed this video and haven't subscribed to the Vehicle Visionary YouTube channel just yet, please consider doing so. And if you would like to learn about additional vehicles you may wish to consider purchasing, check out the video that's on the screen right now, and I will see you there.